So you've all probably heard enough from me, but I did, um, <clears throat> I was asked to be part of the panel um, to answer questions. Um, I did want to just add a few more um, things here from the day. This has been a fascinating day um, and, of information. Um, just a couple points. The patients basically are altruistic and they want to help in clinical trials. I think that's something that needs to be said and um, I think people have touched upon it here. Um, also, in, when you're consenting a patient, no matter how cool a customer, no matter how deep the education, no matter you know, how much a person has studied their disease, they come in impaired. You know, I think it's been touched on before emotionally, um, you know, they're thinking about their families, they're thinking about themselves, they're thinking about if they're going to leave a legacy. Um, they are impaired. So we have to address them as such. Um, uh, I'm sorry, I forget your name. Sharon. Sh Sharon. Um, got rid of uh, the subject. We are people. We are all people here. I don't, I, I know it's probably a regulatory process that brought the word subject um, to describe somebody who participates in a clinical trial. If we can have some kind of change to make us people or participants, that would be lovely. Um, and the protection of uh, information. It's interesting to me that people um, who are considering allowing their uh, genomic information uh, their, he their health information to be stored electronically. When we, I, just recently, I mean, you think of how um, Target, financially, how uh, information has been breached, um, and the NAS, and, and those kinds of things. And it doesn't seem to have hit the medical community yet. Thank goodness. It's a, it's a thankful thing. Um, so I just wanted to... Uh, talk about those kinds of things, um, and again, thank you.